This is the street where Mohammed Bouazizi grew up. He was not just my cousin, he was my friend. I remember cutting his hair just one week before he killed himself. Here was Mohamed Bouazizi's home. Before, the name Bouazizi evoked something really big. Same goes for the name of our city, Sidi Bouzid. But now these names no longer mean anything. They're now nothing more than worn out symbols. You can forget Mohamed Bouazizi. It's now just a name, Mohamed Bouazizi. Sidi Bouzid's gossip says Bouazizi's family left for Tunis, or maybe Canada. The image of the street vendor who set himself alight five years ago is still a national symbol. But in this city, the local glory now belongs to a distant past. It's always the same. Those who work for the local authorities, they're still after our money. I have to pay three dinars just to use this spot, so what's left for me? If I earn a mere five dinars in one day, that's already very good. At 26, Smain is like all of Sidi Bouzid's youth. He works twice a week and he inherited Bouazizi's hopelessness. Bouazizi killed himself for nothing. Now it's every man for himself. The second revolution will come, and when it does, I'll set myself on fire just like Bouazizi did. I'm 20 years old and I'm unemployed. More than a third of Sidi Bouzid's youth are out of work. Unemployment hits hardest among degree holders, who go directly from sitting in class to sitting at the cafes. The region received a large budget for development, the projects are well funded, but only 30% of them are actually in the works. The local administration is just too weak. Our progress is indeed a little slow, but we just don't have the necessary means to execute such large-scale projects and to handle such budgets. So we have big expectations regarding the decentralization policies that are to be implemented. Meanwhile, the state seems powerless and the private investments are not reaching Sidi Bouzid. Lesson learned for the city's people, who are now looking for alternatives. Hoping to start their own projects, dozens have come to this startup event for a little session of speed coaching. A piece of encouraging advice young Manel already knows by heart. She launched her own project earlier this year with the support of development agencies. I came here to see what's new and to get some advice and ideas because I'd like to expand my project. Manel studied to become a gym teacher but she waited in vain for a position in the local schools, so she decided to take matters into her own hands. In her health club, she put a bit of everything and even a spa. State authorities are always saying, we're going to launch this or this new project, but they never do. Our town of Sidi Bouzid is lacking in so many services. So people here are very happy when they see that a new project materializes, that something original comes their way. I wish people would launch their businesses in their own cities. If Sidi Bouzid is your hometown, why would you start your business elsewhere? Especially around here, where people are always looking for new things to do. A small success story, but not enough to hide Sidi Bouzid's disenchantment. To boost the economy, the landlocked region is hoping for a highway to link it to the capital, a promise made in 2011, but construction won't start before 2017, more than six years after the revolution.